Hey kitties, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be coming to you with my nail studio nail room tour Hope you guys enjoy this is a two-part video. So this is part one I will be leaving all links in the description box below So stay tuned so I can explain everything in my little studio Hey kitties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my little nail studio tour, guys. So this is just uh, in my living room. This is where all the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start all the way from over here. And it's gonna give you a little view of everything. And yes, all I do is watch nail videos. Um. So yeah, this is just the overview of what it looks like when a client walks in, um, pretty much. So let's really get into some detail here with everything I have in my little nail studio. We're here, this is my little sanitation uh, station, right? So I have the sterilizer, what's it called again? I forgot what they call this, isn't that what it's called? Anyway, this one I use for utensils. Those I use for drill bits, that one I use for manicure brushes. And this little drawer unit thing, this came from, I think Michael. But right now, all this, sorry, something fell. All this holds is just my Kitty Claws um, items that are for sale on my uh, website, which is launching tomorrow. Yay! I'm relaunching it basically. But this little drawer thing was from Michael's. Um, I bought two. I had two in my previous uh, video. I gave one to my daughter to hold her art supply. So that's all that's in there, nothing special. Um, this is my little uh, TV area. So I have like little chocolates that are not open, you know, but this is my little candy dish area um, clients can take. Now really down here, this TV stand was from Ikea and I house all my little extras and bits and bobs are in here so this is like my main nail storage stuff everything is like in here these are the lavender buds that go in my uh lavender lip oil that i sell on my outside all of that stuff is in here and these are this is just where i hide like some of my packing stuff pretty much uh, guys kitties will come over here this is my little air purifier um what is it called don't remember oh there we go it's a Hamilton Beach True Air. It's okay, actually pretty good. Um, I usually have it on for me and my daughter because we have allergies and it's really good with dust pollen and all that. Um, but yeah, that's that. Then I have my little light that I got from Walmart in the clearance section. I think I paid $7 for it, but it was on sale. And then over here is where my price list is, guys. I post it here right where my client sits so when my client sits and they turn to their right they will see my price list they will also see my policy so that's always good to have right where in eyesight they will also see my license and they will also see this little poster over here that says smile you're on camera I have a little camera that I turn on whenever clients come to my home because I'd rather be safe than sorry um so yeah so this is my actual table itself. This is what the client sees, guys. So I'm gonna start over here. So over here is just a little display of some of the nail art that I do or can do. Let me move this out of the way. So that's pretty much what's here for them. Um, and then I have this little do kicky thingy that I got from dollar tree for a dollar and it's perfect to house my cuticle oil so any client that comes to me they get a cuticle oil for free this is a sample oil of um like i said my cuticle oil and um they take it with them and my clients love them and then of course the top part just houses my business cards always always display your business cards um 
for clients to grab for themselves or others. I have a little coffee, Mr. Coffee warmer. Um, of course, you can put your, you've, if you have a hot drink, you turn it on right here and it will turn on and get warm and you know, of course, it's to warm up coffee or tea, but I use it for something else and I'll show you that later on in the video. Guys, this is what I use to record on. As you can see, that's it. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'll leave links. I got it from Amazon and it just hooks onto the table like a clamp and you twist it at the bottom to tighten it so it just goes like this. And then you put your, I put my phone here. I, I have an iPhone 8 Plus. And then I record. And then I attached a charger. Not recording, I just kind of go like this. And that's that. So that's that. Then over here is where my client sits. So on top of the desk where my client will sit here, there is the armrest. This is the armrest I, I did mention to you guys just so you can see the height on that. And I have my little sun uh, UV, LED UV light. This is my baby light. Like, I love this. I've had this for so long. She still works. And I like the fact that this piece comes off and you can sanitize this piece um, more thoroughly. And it came with pink, white, and gray. So you can change the cover, the color, but I, it, um, I love the pink, so it's fine. And here is, and I drilled holes in my desk and it's for the, what you see, that the wires aren't what you see, if that makes sense. I don't like wires going all over my table. So my boyfriend drilled holes in this tabletop so that I can put um, the wires through the holes. This is um, one of my du nail dust collectors. I have another one and I'll show you that soon. It was gifted to me by my friend and I'll show you that one. This is new. Um, this is my new nail desk lamp and I love it guys. Okay. So this piece, only this silver piece turns, see, so it can turn like this or like this. And I love that it does that. This whole thing turns, it has a whole 360 turning. This is a charging pad. This turns on and on it's touch. So you can brighten it, lower it, pick which kind of light you want um and what i also love about it is there's a little sensor on this part so it can turn off and on by going like this it's so freaking cool i love it i really love this light um so i'll leave the link for this down below in the description over here got this from the dollar no i'm lying this wasn't from dollar tree this came off of i think it's on amazon i can't remember i don't know if i was oh I was like walking around like, I think it was Marshall's. This was before everything. And I saw it and I picked it up. This and this, this and this came from um, like Marshall's. So you can get stuff like that from a store like TJ Maxx. Don't mind this. It's gross. I need to get some gooby gone and get it off. Because I had my display tips hanging from here and I didn't like that. So now I got to get rid of this crap. But this is actually a towel rack, something that you would put in your bathroom, if you can see, to hang your hand towels on. I got this from Amazon, and I use it to hang, of course, my um, display, my swatches. It shows my colored acrylics that I have, and it shows my custom acrylics that I've made. So I really like it. It's really cute. Now... This I got from the Dollar Tree, and this I got from the Dollar Tree. Kind of like it. Confidence booster. I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just the side of the table, guys. That what This is the side of my table that the client sees. Pretty cool. This is to the left of my client when, they, when they're sitting. These are my two Ikea bookshelves. I'll leave the link for them in the description box below. Pretty inexpensive. I put it together myself. Um, and that's an accomplishment because I don't do good at things like that. It, I think it took me a whole day because I'm just slow with directions like this. Um, so in the very top, you'll see my certifications from my, my uh, school that I went to to get my uh, nail specialty certification, my microblading certification. Um, like I said, I am Zoop licensed in uh, as a nail technician. However, I am not licensed as a microbladist yes, yet. Soon, soon, soon. So at the top, you'll see the KK for Kitty Claws. You will see uh, artwork done by my 
daughter. That's right. Baby Kitty made those. She also made this beautiful painting right here. She also made that beautiful painting. Zooming around, she also made this beautiful painting. So I love displaying her artwork. These paintings, though, I got, guys, I got a call. These paintings I got from Amazon. I will leave the link below. But after putting them up, I realized my daughter could do that. And now I'm just like, hmm. But it's okay. It looks really pretty. Anyway, going back to this. Okay, so moving on. You're going to see, like I said, my daughter's artwork. That little picture I got from AliExpress. But you can kind of print these pictures off. Like this one with the bottle and that one that says butt first nails. I would suggest going online, printing it on normal printer paper. I bought these picture frames from the dollar store and just putting them in there. Just some easy DIY, you know? Um, this is like the little Glade scent uh, spray. So when I have a client, I put it on to spray every, um, what was it, 9 minutes, 18 minutes, 36 minutes, something like that. Because um, I use monomer and monomer smells a lot. <laughs> I got this little plaque from the dollar store. Here is my gel polish. So this is my DND. I'm just gonna get around here. This is my DND polishes, guys. I like DND um, because you get two for one. So the one that is not in a enclosed bottle is regular polish, and the ones that come in like this or like this are the gels. These I didn't swatch because you can kind of see what the color is by looking at the regular polish bottle and then you'll know what's in the enclosed one. And then I have my Madame Glams here. I only have four Madame Glam polishes so far, but yeah, that's a start. Over here is where I swatched all the other gel polishes I have. This is just a nail gel color board like book thing and just let me open it bear with me so yeah these are all the other gels that i have um and i'm going to show you where i store all those but this little book which is coming apart already i got it from aliexpress but you can get it from amazon so if you want it faster but it's already falling apart guys so that's that then moving on to right next to it over here are just regular polishes and my um stamping polishes which are all born pretty these are my alcohol inks that i made these i purchased and like i said these are just random um regular polishes these little photo albums um i got them from michael's they were on sale for ten dollars and i'll just show you real quick this is where I put my foils, water decals, and stickers. And they are just literally photo albums, guys. And I just stick them in here like this. So this is where I put all my foils that I have so far. It's the holiday ones. So I like having my foils in here like this. My client can look and see and pull anything out. I do, I do want to buy more foils. Um, I'm probably going to end up filling up this book with foils but that's those and nail stickers so this book houses just that so these are the stickers I have that are in the front and then it kind of like separates in half the book the the book the photo album as you can see is like this so this is just stick this will be stickers I'm sure I'll get more stickers these are the water decals so these are the ones you have to cut and put in water and it comes off and it's a whole extra step, but some of them are really cute. So, that's this. And like I said, I got this from uh, Michaels. This holds some of my stamping plates. Perfect for housing my... Oops, sorry. The sunlight is not working with me right now. But it was perfect for housing my stamping plates. I did mention where I got these stamping plates from before in a previous video. My little circle stamping plates fit lovely in here, but these bigger ones, I have no home for them yet, so they're just like in between the pages for now. But yeah, that's that, those are that. And I had this one, which is more stamping plates are in here, and this I got from Amazon. The company is called, see if you can see it. And I liked it because it's like, like a little purse kind of. I wish they'd had, they didn't have another color. They only had black when I ordered. I'm sure they have more now. But yeah, 
So it has the slots for the square, but I'm sure you can fit the circle ones in there too. And then I like the fact that the back of the, the holder also has for the big plate. So this is where I put my Beauty Big Bang stamping plates and stuff like that. Down here is where I have my glitters. As you guys know, I make custom glitters and I'm selling them. So this is some of my inventory right here. And like I said, the website is going back up, guys. So yeah. These are my glitters. Over so. here is, of course, your girl's cuticle oil, which is going to be back on sale, fully stocked up. Uh, everybody loves my cuticle oil, and I'm so happy and grateful that you guys do. So get ready to get your purchases together, guys. And of course, just some more branding. Got my business cards just here. Now down here is where I house some microblading materials. Um, like I said before, I do microblading, but not officially yet. I want to get licensed first. And of course, I want to be able to practice more. And honestly, I'm waiting to actually have my own actual studio to where I can do microblading in a separate place than where I do my nails. I feel like that's just more sanitary. It's cleaner. It's more professional. So the actual microblading part of Kitty Claws won't be probably until the end of this year god willing next year when you know whole house situation gets settled so in this little box i have my um the soaking dishes like the manicure dishes and this is the beautiful nail dust collector from my nail sister michelle i love her so much and down here are where i house cleaning supplies overflow stuff so my alcohol that i used to clean uh, the nails with and stuff like that extra monomer extra acrylic barbicide my viva paper towels i swear viva is the best lysol i think back there i got a big thing of acetone these are puppy pads and i'm going to show you what i use the puppy pads for in a second hey kitties so that was just part one of my nail room nail studio tour i will be uh uploading part two in a little while but i just wanted to jump in and let you guys know the website is back open and running yay so please head over to kittyclothes.business where you can get some custom mixed glitters acrylics and the well-known cuticle oil Thank you guys so, so, so much. I will leave all the links in the description box below for everything that's part of my room studio. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. I will be having a part two. That's going to be my nail desk tour. Till next time. Bye, kitties.